So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday. And today is going to be a little bit different because today I'm not going to make any tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about my big disappointment about the new DaVinci Resolve 19. So I see a lot of people talking about DaVinci Resolve and all the amazing features that DaVinci Resolve has in the new version, in the 19. And I said, yes, it's true. All of those amazing things, but something makes me, I don't know how to say it, makes me say this to you because I saw everything, it's amazing, but something is missing. And I think this is a basic thing that should be improved and it's not. So if you don't know me, my name is Paulo and usually I do uh, videos about the DaVinci Resolve. So I used DaVinci Resolve for around 10 years or probably more as a an amateur as a hobbyist, so I'm not a professional, so uh, it's not my main job working with DaVinci Resolve. And I've been using DaVinci Resolve um, free, a uh, free the free version for around eight years, and in this around probably around two years, not I think it's not the one year and a half. I've been using the studio version, so I bought the studio version because it's faster and it has a lot of features that the free version doesn't have. And especially for this uh, channel, I decided to buy because it's not that expensive and I see all the benefits of this, the studio version. But I don't know why uh, the Black Magic or the DaVinci Resolve team still doesn't improve the Fusion page. I don't know if you know, but the Fusion program is not originally from the Black Magic. It was uh, from another company, and they bought that uh, company. So that's why we have the the standalone Fusion software and the Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve. And that software is old. We're going on, uh, on the nineteen uh, version, so it's it has at least eighteen versions uh, before this one. And I noticed they've been improving a lot of things, but I, I think they are not doing the best for the Fusion page. I'm saying this because if you do this exactly same thing inside of the Fusion page and outside of the Fusion page, for example, in the edit page, you see a big gap between the speeds of the, for example, the color page and the Fusion page. The Fusion page is too slow. It's not improved, it's not optimized for working with the, the recent hardware that we have. Uh, I'm a PC user, so I have an AMD Ryzen 9, a 5900X with 12 cores. So it's a fast uh, CPU. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have a GPU that is NVIDIA RTX 4080 and the system, uh, disk is an SSD, ultra fast one. This, the disk where the projects are, are also SSD. So everything, it's okay. It's a good machine. But in the Fusion page, the machine still struggles and it has slow behavior. It's, and I want to show you what I mean with this. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you. So here we have, as you can see, today is a little bit different. I have here... Uh, the task manager where you can see the performance of the computer. So every, everything in here and in here, I have the um, DaVinci Resolve with the, an 11 second clip loaded over here. If I go to the, let's see if I go to the end, it's an 11 second clip and I'm going to use the magic mask. So I'm going to do the color page and here I'm going to use the magic mask. So I'm here in the, let's see, I mean, already in the magic mask. So I'm going to draw here a line to, and I'm going to try to do the same in the fusion page. So it's selected and I'm going to track it and let's see how long it takes to track 11 seconds and how here the, the performance is. So let's track it and it's tracking. So can see it's it's done. It took around seven, eight seconds, and 
the performance of the CPU is 100% and the GPU went around 80% and it was around six to seven seconds to track all of the 11 seconds. Now, if you add here the alpha output, so we have the final result. And if you go to the edit page, we have done. Now I'm going to try to do exactly the same. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to drag it again over here. And I'm going to use just three seconds. So I'm going to one, two, three. I'm going to cut it and I only have here three seconds. And the previous one in the edit page was 11 seconds. I'm going to do three because if I do 11, it's going to be a long time. Now let's go to the Fusion page with the clip selected and we have our media in and our media out. So let's add the magic mask. So it's already here, magic mask, add it over here. I'm gonna go to the beginning exactly as I was in the color page and I'm gonna draw the line, try to do exactly the same. Do it like this and do it like this. I wanna try to be as precise as possible. And now let's look at the performance of our CPU and our GPU in the um, Fusion page. I'm gonna come here and track and let's see, let's go. So the CPU is going around here. Look to the difference. So it's going up and the GPU is 27, 29 and the CPU is fluctuating over here. And as you could see, it took more time to do uh, the tracking over here and it doesn't use the power of the machine. So I don't know why this is not optimized because you could see that it fluctuated a little bit over here and in the GPU it did just a little bit. So it's not using all the power of the CPU and it's not using all the power of the GPU. So I don't know why they don't fix this because I think this is more important that add all those fancy things because if you have all those fancy things, but the work is very slow, it's not optimized. It doesn't make sense in my opinion. So I want to put this out because I don't understand why they are doing this. Probably because it's they have to redo everything because the original software is not prepared to that to do that to work with the multiple cores and GPUs and all of that but in my opinion that should be the base for a, a good performance fusion page uh, and I love to work in the fusion page and I'm all the time struggling with uh, being slow and I don't understand why this is the way it is. So I hope this information was helpful and I wanted to share it with you because I think if all of us get together and start asking this optimization for the Fusion page, probably uh, someone inside of the DaVinci Resolve uh, team listen to us and make that change. So I hope to see you in the next video and until there, bye.